Hey there, gaming enthusiasts. Welcome back to Product Critique, your go-to channel for honest tech reviews. Today, we're diving into the world of gaming subscriptions, comparing PlayStation Plus, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, and Nintendo Switch Online. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, so you don't miss any of our gaming updates. Let's kick things off with PlayStation Plus. It's a necessary subscription if you want to play console games online on your PlayStation, starting at $9.99 per month or $59.99 per year. While it offers some perks like monthly free games and discounts, its game library and cloud gaming performance leave a bit to be desired. PlayStation Plus offers three tiers, Essential, Extra, and Premium. The Essential tier is the basic plan, similar to Xbox Live Gold, and offers online multiplayer, cloud storage, and more for $9.99 per month or $59.99 per year. The game library in the essential plan varies from mediocre to excellent, with appealing games showing up every couple of months. However, it can't compete with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate's superior library that includes new first-party titles on launch day. Now, let's talk about cloud gaming. PlayStation Plus Premium, available for $17.99 per month or $119.99 per year, offers cloud-based gaming, previously known as PlayStation Now. Unfortunately, its streaming performance falls short compared to Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming. On the other hand, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate steals the show with its impressive library, including new first-party games on launch day, available for $14.99 per month. While Nintendo Switch Online remains a great option for retro gaming at just $20 per year. With approximately 450 games in the game catalog, including big titles like God of War and Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate's library is hard to beat. When it comes to cloud gaming, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate delivers a smoother experience compared to PlayStation Plus Premium. The latter suffers from noticeable delays and compression artifacts, making it less appealing for streaming games. Now, let's not forget about Nintendo Switch Online. Priced at just $20 per year, it's a budget-friendly option that lets you play classic NES, SNES, and Game Boy games. If you opt for the expansion pass at $49.99 per year, you also get access to Game Boy Advance and Nintendo 64 titles. In conclusion, while PlayStation Plus is necessary for online play on your PlayStation, its inconsistent game library and underwhelming cloud gaming performance make it a distant third when compared to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Nintendo Switch Online. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate stands out with its superior library and streaming features, making it the top choice for console gamers. Thanks for tuning in to today's comparison on Product Critique. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon, so you won't miss out on more exciting gaming reviews. Until next time, this is Product Critique signing off. Thanks for tuning in to today's comparison on Product Critique. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon, so you won't miss out on more exciting gaming reviews. Until next time, this is Product Critique signing off.